okay guys welcome back to my channel today we are going to be unboxing my package from morph okay so it's packaged very well okay so all of the items in this box i only paid i paid under 50 dollars for um and i think it was free shipping over 45 dollars um, I'm going to provide the link for all the items below, so yeah, let's get started. So I got some brushes, which I needed some new ones, and I've been waiting a while to get some more brushes, but they were on sale for like a dollar and change a piece, so I'm like two. Um, and I will list the numbers of each brush below, but these are them. I'm really just adding to my collection of brushes. I'm not like throwing out an old um, set. Um, I just wanted some better brushes. So we got that. This one, okay, so this is a jelly eye shimmer. I think it's from um, a collab. I'm gonna look it up, but these number two ones, I, I forget who it is, but I will look it up. It is very pretty. And let me um, actually turn on the light for you guys so you can see it a little bit better. Okay, that's perfect. So, here we are again with the light hitting it a little bit better. Um, and I'm gonna just test it out for you guys. I really don't wanna mess up my nails too much, but. So I'm just gonna put it on the back of my hand and kinda rub it in this way. And this is how it looks. Um, I think it's gonna be a nice shimmer. And I love gold, I usually put a little shimmer on everything. So I'll definitely be testing it out and I will post pictures once I do that. So don't mind me if you see a little glitter on my hand after opening that. Just putting it back in the box. I'm just wiping my hands off fast because the glitter definitely sticks on you. So the next one we have is a foundation. You guys, I really just needed to add something on there to get the free shipping. I'm not even sure it's my color, but I'm just gonna show y'all how it looks. Okay. Which sometimes, like I'm, I probably won't use this as a foundation, obviously, because I am a little bit darker, but I can use it for something else. But that's pretty much it. In fact, let me test out a little bit for you guys. So you guys can actually see um, like how it goes on. Of course, it's going to be with my hand. So it's not going to be the same as putting it on with the brush. But you can kind of see it. It's not too thick. And it actually, it actually blended out pretty well. Not, oh, now that I look at it, yeah, it did blend pretty well. Um, I still don't know if I would do a full face with it, but I guess I'll try it out. 
Um, it didn't look like it might be my color, but it's kind of surprised me too. I'm just gonna package that up. So I got this 9K khaki calling palette. It's me always trying to figure out how to open the boxes. Where to start. So this one's really cute. Um, this is for like a neutral nude eye. Um, there are a couple, like three shimmers. Uh, but it's a really cute palette. And you guys, I'm not going to test that one. Be, um, but we have another palette in there that has a lot more colors that I can test. Okay, so these are um, tinted brow gels. It also is from that um, number two collection, and it is in the color Soft Black. So that's what I like to use when I'm doing my eyebrows. Um, I don't like black, and I know some people use that, and then some people like uh, just brown. Um, and I feel like this gives you the perfect... Um, eyebrow look I guess with soft black I don't like the eyebrows too dark but I'm going to take it out yeah it, it looks like the perfect color for me so what I'll do with this is I'll fill in my brows like with a pencil and then I'll go back and add a little brow gel to make it like fuller. Um, I don't want to too thick or anything, but these are really good. I think these were a dollar and change. Okay, so this palette. I actually bought a couple of these only because I'm gifting them to someone, uh, but we're gonna see what this looks like. Very nice. So I can already tell you guys, one of my most favorite shades is probably gonna be that Vineyard Scape. It's nice, it, I can tell it's gonna be nice and pigmented. And also the, sh the shady spot, but I use brown um, to kind of transition to a lot of different colors, so. Um, but I really like that vineyard escape. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to just swatch it. Let me just... Okay, that is a nice color, guys. And I'm going to do the brown. The shady spot. Okay, so Shady Spot isn't really coming up on me as much as I would like. Would I still use it as a transition color? Absolutely. But I really, really like that Vineyard Escape. It's very nice. Let's see, the Secret Lagoon. Oh, that is, that is a nice color. And maybe let's try the Hit and Cold. Okay, so these are really, really pigmented. The Hidden Cove and the Secret Lagoon almost look like they look alike, but I promise if you put a lot um, on, you will definitely start to see the difference um, in them. But I'm gonna say it is very, very pigmented. 
even on dark skin. So yeah, I like it. touch other stuff I don't want to stain it I don't want to stain my hands either at least not right not right now and these are just gonna be the two palettes the other two um that I got and that is really the end of it let me know if you guys would like me to go like um to swatch uh, the whole palette and see all the colors um, on dark skin. Okay? Thank you guys so much for watching.